Dr. Yitzhak Dreamer, thank you for joining us here. Thank you. Thank you. We're uh, revealing the secrets of the ultimate medicine. And now, in the second episode, let's talk about the relevant roots of the Western medicine. What are they exactly? Western medicine is, just to give you a small example, in 10, 20 years ago, when Eastern medicine or Eastern people had some problems that they couldn't solve in China, Japan, or China or areas like that, not Japan, they used to send their patients to the United States, to Europe, to regular medicine. Mm -hmm. So conventional medicine is very, very important. It developed over hundreds of years and joined into the scientific world 300 years ago, about 300 years ago, and did excellent job in developing the very base of human intervention in crisis. So they developed um, the antibiotics, the penicillin, very, very important. A lot of people died from nothing, from nonsense, because they didn't understand the germ theory. So they couldn't create anything to give them to fight that. And they developed sanitation. And they developed a lot of, uh, for example, to, to create an internal intervention which is called surgery. People didn't understand what it means. So you could have something within you when you would die from a rupture um, appendix. Or you will have something uh, stuck in your lung and nobody can deal with that because from the outside inside. They developed excellent um, tools to view you within. MRI. MRI, CT, Rengen, x-rays, uh, ultrasound. They developed amazing things. They developed something that is called anesthesia. So you and me can go through terrible treatments in a sense. Terrible you mean mm -hmm. painful treatments uh -huh. with no pain. Sleeping. Going to sleep, wake up after one hour, four hours, six hours with a new heart and with a new this and with a new this. So they are amazing. They did a great job. By the way, they continue doing this great job. However, so actually, that's the most important thing to say about Western medicine. That's very important to say about it. Exactly. Where in your medical center are you using also the knowledge of the Western medicine while you are uh, treating your patient using the ultimate medicine? Where you are you using these tools from that kind of box? Very good question. It's, first of all, it's a language. It's a language that you can speak with other um, doctors, which is very important. If you don't understand the language of pathology, of neurology, of orthopedics, or whatever it is, you cannot deal with the patient with other doctors or with other treatments. So first is the language. Second, it's blood work, genetic work. It's all, that, all the um, tools that we need for x-rays, CT. MRI, PET scans, uh, functional MRIs. We, we, we need to understand um, where, that's where I actually I'm using it when it's necessary with the patient. So you're using that like sending your patients to create and to bring the summary of the, uh, those exams? Absolutely. Because then you take all the information, you gather it and you start coming to your understandings to how to use that within your patient. Sometimes it will be what you need, sometimes it will be something that are not correct from that side or from your side. It gives you more tools and understanding to deal with your patient. So, and if I need um, a treatment for that patient that we're not doing in the clinic, mm -hmm. and only a medical doctor can do that, we send them there to do that treatment. It's very important. Give me an example. Surgery. For example, if you have a tumor somewhere, you have a, 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 you have a fracture that doesn't heal and you need to be connected with metals, mm -hmm. so we do that. So you need to be very keen in how you see your patient and how to know when to send them out 
to have these things that are being done only by medical doctors. And what about the pills? No pills in the ultimate medicine? Ultimate medicine, yes pills, when necessary, but not as the main tool. Pills are only when you don't have a choice. When you must add somebody with that, let's say that his thyroid is totally destroyed. Wow. So you need to give him something that uterex that would change that. If his um, um, pancreas is totally destroyed from something and he's type 1 diabetic, you need to help him with that. So you need to know when to use the Western knowledge. The, the Western knowledge, the medicine itself, medicine, mm -hmm. the pills, the drugs, the creams, the treatments, when, when, it's, when you don't have a choice. And then you're sending them to a Western medical a center or doctor yes. that is allowed to give them those pills or even to help them throughout the surgery and they come back afterwards to you exactly. to continue the ultimate medicine Very treatment. Very good point, yes, exactly. And, and then, as we see in our vision, is that the next ultimate health provider doctor would not have to send them out, only to specialize things, which is okay, not mm -hmm. everybody specialized. So that's the goal, that's our vision. But right now, yes, that's what we do. So you know I interact with these doctors because I'm having one thing in my mind, the benefit of the patient. All the time, the benefit of the patient. To send them when needed, to have, protect them sometimes with, from, from treatments that are not needed. Or from examinations that are not needed, or to do things that he's afraid he doesn't think he needs to have that done, but to make him understand that they need to have that done. So you work for the patient. Give me an example that you could, using the knowledge of the Western medicine, you could help a, in your clinic your patients, or using the Western tools, or in just stop using them because that's the benefit of the patient. For example, uh, this week we had a lady with a very severe low back pain. Mm -hmm. So so we send her out to see if she have kidney stones because that can mimic low back pain and, and you deal only with low back pain which is not the thing because the MRI and the CT scan didn't show anything irregular. Mm -hmm. So kidney stones were something that we sent her to do. She's doing it today. And so it will give us an understanding what will be our continuation with her. And the other way around, uh, we have some patients that came with heart conditions, but actually, and she, and she got pills for the heart condition, and she got worse. Mm -hmm. And it appeared, and then when the examiner, we understood that it was digestive problems that they missed out, and they gave her the wrong pills. Wow. So she, they created more problem with the, with the condition and went for the heart. They gave her three pills for the heart, and it was wrong. So we we checked her, explained her, showed her, and then we check. They have we had them change that, and then she was okay. Wow, that's for example. Dr. Itzhak Drimel, another uh, episode and look uh, as part of your uh, courses, as part of your lectures, as part of your new coming book about the ultimate medicine. I want to thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.